The FIC darts competition took place on Saturday with all eyes on who would take home their respective awards. It's lovely because it gets the whole community or most of the community together that can play darts and the dart players that don't play darts anymore can listen on the radio or obviously the TV now and it's lovely to let them know that the darts are still going after all these years. It's brilliant. With COVID and that we've had sort of a year's break where we, no one's played darts. And luckily we've had extra people here that's taken over so everybody gets a game. So it's been really good, really successful I think. The women's semi-finals saw Chloe Green take on Ella Crowey in a best of three series for the first spot in the final. After a comfortable first leg win, Chloe quickly dispatched her opponent by taking the second set. On the other side of the tree, Natalie Smith was poised to take on Lucinda Lowe. Both women who had come far to reach this point in the competition put on a show for those watching, with each of the ladies taking a set to themselves. But it was Natalie who came out on top by taking the third and final set, beating Lucinda two sets to one. So with the final showdown set, it was time to find out who was going to take it all as the two finalists battled it out in a best of five series. Chloe Green took an early advantage by taking the first set for herself and then proceeded to further cement her lead by going 2-0 up. Yeah! But with the odds against her and in desperate need of something, Natalie managed to make it 2-1 with a third set victory. Going into game four, the crowd who were watching could have expected anything. Would Chloe close out and win the championship? Or would Natalie make it all even at two apiece and take it to an all deciding game five? It would only take her one dart to do so as the women prepared for a winner takes all final game. With the pressure slowly moving towards Chloe, it appeared that the momentum created against her was too much to overcome. But having been leading the series 2-0 earlier on in the match, Chloe showed perseverance and avoided defeat by winning the all-important Game 5, thus winning the championship for the first time in her dance playing career. On the men's side of things, we saw Declan Bonner take on the reigning champion Colin Smith in a best of five series. However, it only took Colin three games to book his place in the final, winning by straight sets. In the next bracket, Roy Shepard met Richard Bonner, but this game was dealt swiftly by Roy as he also comfortably won three games to nil. So here we go, a best of seven series with two amazing players finally set to face one another for the men's championship. These two usually find themselves as teammates as both represent the league leaders Otto Outlaws, but tonight they'll have to push that aside as they play in a rematch of the 2019 finals. It was Colin who got off the mark first by taking game one for himself, but it was quickly answered by Roy as he tied the match by taking game two. Games three and four were much of the same, Colin breaking the tie by winning the third game, only for Roy to turn it into a best of three series as he took game four. With a conclusion looming, game five, arguably the most critical to win at this point, was secured by Roy, complemented by cheers from the crowd watching. With his back against the wall, Colin must now take both remaining games in order to win. And he completed step one of the plan by winning game six and sending it to a final winner takes all game seven. Much like the women's final, the crowd sat in anticipation for what was to unfold as a back and forth game played out. But in its closing moments, it was Roy Shepard who dethroned Colin to take the crown and become the 2021 men's champion.
But Colin's won it many more times than me. Many more times than me. Have you had a few battles in the past then? Oh yeah, I lost 4-3 to Colin two years ago. We're going to have many battles for a long time to come. Apparently the trophies are not here yet. It'll go next to my other two that I've won. Overall, the night was a success that provided smiles all around for those in attendance. Everybody, we've had a great time and may it continue.